Hey guys, how's your Shield K9? And I am at the airport picking up some dogs. And um, I thought I might film some of this just so you guys can see what it looks like. We bring in, man, this year we're probably bringing in about 30 dogs this year. Um, and, and we bring them in obviously in multiple different shipments and, and throughout the year. They don't all come at once. And I've done it a bunch of different ways. <sighs> But ultimately, I used to bring my dog trailer and all that stuff. But I found that it was just too difficult and, and, quite frankly, sometimes dangerous to transfer the dogs from their crates to the trailer. And then, of course, you have all these big crates and there's no easy way to transport them. So now all I do is I basically bring my utility trailer on my truck, strap these babies down right in their crates so I don't have to take them out of the crate here. And um, this, is what, this is what I do. So uh, I'll kind of film some of the process and maybe talk a little bit about some of the puppies. That's good. Push, push, push. I'm just gonna put them right on the trailer. Push, 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 push. So basically we got two of them on here. Now I'm expecting a male and two females today. Two females for breeding and a male to be trained as a protection dog to be sold. Hey, sweetie, you are a girl. I can tell. You're such a girl. Yes. yes. You're in your new home now. They're always a little different when they come out of the uh, when they're when they first land here. Some of them are a little bit more cautious and timid, and some of them act like nothing's happened. So, basically, this is a clearing warehouse. Plain lands. Dogs are brought here and uh, then we got to go to customs get them cleared once they're cleared and inspected by the vet um, and our paperwork gets stamped we are able to pick them up and these dogs here are now Canadian citizens so yeah that's a little bit of the process of course you know this is it's not so easy you have to find somebody in Europe that you trust and, and you have to work with that person um, and uh, you know that's never easy and and you know the reality is if you're not going to Europe um, and seeing the dogs for yourself you're gonna get some dogs that maybe aren't quite what you wanted but during these COVID times that's not an option unfortunately there we go hey pop up <coughs> oh yeah you're cute <coughs> as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by this little female hey sweet pea <coughs> <laughs> she appears to be unfriendly I like her anyways um, you guys can kind of see why some of these dogs I don't like taking them out of the crate and putting them in the dog trailer with this female it would be quite a fun experience so I gotta get these babies strapped down and ready to go all right so I got all the puppies strapped up Ratchet strapped down. So, everybody is secure. It's about an hour back to Shield K9. And that's where I will unbox these puppies, so to speak. So, yeah, that's a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to video when you're. Talking. And I bet you she isn't all that bad. She's just making a lot of noise because she's not too happy right now. She spent the last 10, 12 hours in a crate. So maybe I'll talk a little bit more about, you know, how we find these dogs, our process for selecting these dogs and, and then bringing them over here and so on and so forth. So bear with me a sec. All right, guys. So. You kind of saw some of the, uh, you, you saw the three dogs that we brought, we just brought in. 
Two of them are females that are gonna become uh, part of our breeding program, if all goes well with them. And um, one of them is a male, a young male, um, that we are going to be training and selling as a fully trained personal protection dog. Um, the, uh, the process that we go through personally for the selection of these dogs, we have a couple vendors in Europe that, that we've worked with on and off um, over the last few years. Um, and you know, as, as trustworthy as, Brett, as vendors can be, um, these ones are trustworthy in that they will send you the dog that you saw in the video. Um, what it, the, the, generally the process is, is, is they will kind of give you a little bit of a brief synopsis on the dog and then you'll see a video or two or three of the dog. And then if you're not able to go to Europe yourself, which is really the best way, I mean, if you're selecting dogs for work, um, the best way is to go yourself so that you can see the temperament of the dog um, and, and, and really test the dog yourself and make sure that everything is what you want it to be. Um, it's COVID right now. Uh, so, you know, if we go to Europe, we're going to be stuck doing quarantines and all this nonsense. So um, right now uh, we are shipping sight unseen um, based on videos um, and trust. So, you know, we get the dogs here and some of them are exactly what we want them to be and some of them aren't quite what we want them to be. And if they're not quite what we want to be, we, that means we're going to have to put in a lot more work to kind of get them where we want them to be. Or, you know, they, they, the, their sale price is not, you know, what the sale price for our, one of our top tier dogs is. Doesn't mean it's that type of dog. It's funny, some of the dogs that came that I really, you know, they weren't my favorite dogs. They've, they've actually ended up being really good dogs for, for the people that, that purchased them. And it's ironic, you know, uh, even for police departments, like dogs that I bought that I didn't think were all that good end up in a police department. Some of them did really well. So, you know, it's one of those things where, um, you know, it's, it's not an exact science, but, you know, I have my personal preferences and those don't always jive with what everybody else likes. But, you know, at the end of the day, I always, I always buy the dogs that I like or try to anyways. And, and that has served me relatively well. Um, anyways, yeah. So we see the dogs, they come over here. Then once they get here, uh, we bring them back to our location. Um, uh, at which point, uh, we start testing them. We see where they are in terms of courage and in drive environmentals, all that type of stuff. And then we, uh, commence a training plan for that dog. If the dog is for training as either as a police dog or a personal protection dog and uh, the dog starts our training system and um, whatever destination that dog is ultimately going to be um, taken to is it's taken to there and um, is then sold to somebody usually prior to us even completing the training um, it is uh, you know that's that's a bit of our process um, you know if you think you're gonna get rich selling dogs um, good luck to you I like it. It's it's a fun thing for me. I, I love kind of developing young dogs and, and building them and, and training them and, and selecting them. Um, you know, it's really important that when you select a dog, you're selecting the best raw product possible. It's kind of like maybe um, these guys that are, are scout talent scouts for a sports team. You know, you're not seeing the finished product. You're seeing potential and you're selecting for potential. And that's my job. My job is I'm a dog. I'm a canine talent scout. And I go out. Uh, my job is whether I'm, I'm using video or, or I'm, I'm checking in person to find the dogs with the, the best talent for, for specific jobs, the, the jobs that we sell them for, whether it's, it's a personal protection dog, family protection dog, uh, police dogs, um, you know, single purpose search dogs, whatever. Um, and, and find the dogs that are most suited for those specific tasks and that will fulfill those roles well. So that's just maybe a little bit about our process. Um, you know, this is not a get rich quick scheme. This is a multi-year investment. You're going to have a lot of heartache. Some of the dogs aren't going to work out. Uh, you will lose money guaranteed. Uh, you probably will not get rich doing this, but if you have the passion to do this and you really love and enjoy doing this it's a hell of a lot of fun so looking forward to uh when covid ends so that we can personally get over to europe and and test in person because that is always my preference i like going and seeing them for myself before i put cash down on them but uh for now we're doing it this way and hopefully these three puppies that we've got in the back there um end up being exactly what we want them to be thank you for watching